Good morning and welcome to our midweek reflection. It's the 21st of October. So I've been thinking about rules. Some people really love them, some people hate them, and some people just kind of get on with them because it's part of life. Perhaps they don't even notice them, they just fall in step. And I was thinking about when I was um, little at Red Cross camp, I was only about eight years old, and we used to have this um, nighttime washing regime where you had to wash your face before your hands. And I remember just thinking, that can't be right. And I remember saying to the leader, surely you should wash your hands before they touch your face. That made sense to me. It was logic. And I'm not famed for my logic. Um, anyway, she was furious. And she said to me, it's your face because it's that way round. And I remember just thinking that isn't right. And I dug in and I said, no, you should wash your hands before your face. Anyway, it went on and you can imagine. And the net result was I was sent to bed early in the tent without um, a biscuit um, or a hot lemon drink. I'm not sure you'd be able to get away with that these days. Anyway, so rules. We're surrounded by them, aren't we? And particularly at the moment, um, as we continue to navigate the um, COVID pandemic. So what are rules and why do we have them? Well, I think rules are there to protect us. The rule of the land, for example, do not kill, do not steal and so on. It makes sense. Then there's guidance, one step down from the law and the um, formal rules. And then there's regulation. And then there's the rule of thumb, whatever that might be. So we're surrounded by rules, regulations, laws, rules of thumb. So I thought, right, I'm going to really dig into this and, and, and just check out what do I understand by law and what is my attitude um, towards it. So I turned to the Bible. And in the Old Testament, um, there's lots of examples of stories about the law. So the law being given by the prophets to the people of Israel, um, laws being established by the various rulers of the land at the time. And then there are lots of examples of laws just being broken. And as a result, things usually went belly up. Now, they had lots of laws and regulations in those times because Life was a lot more volatile, believe it or not, than it is now. Um, and they certainly didn't have health and safety regulations and rules. Um, so they really did need some strict guidance. But they were really, really governed um, by laws at every turn. And then we come to the New Testament, which, as we know, is all about Jesus's life and ministry and the hope that he brings us. And Jesus sums up God's law as this. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And you shall love your neighbour as yourself. And on the summary of this law hangs all other laws which are designed to protect us and enable us to live a fulfilled and contented life. Um, as God really wanted it to be. So I'm just going to read that law again, that summary of the law. You shall love the Lord your God with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And mind often meant heart, actually, when you when you read it in the New Testament. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. And you shall love your neighbour as yourself. So, do I keep the summary of the law? Do I love God? Do I love my neighbour? And do I love myself? Well, starting in reverse order, I'm not sure I always love myself, but God tells me that I'm made in his image, made in the image of the creator God who flung the stars into space um, and yet reaches down and loves me and knows all about me. It says in the Bible that um, he knew me even when I was being formed in my mother's womb. That's just amazing. So I think really 
um, if he can love me like that, then I need to start loving myself and cut myself a bit of slack. Do I love my neighbours? Well, I like the people on either side and the people opposite, definitely, just in case they're listening. No, I really do. But I think neighbours means friends, family, everyone we come into contact with, people at the school gate, work colleagues and so on. And it's not always easy to love them or perhaps it isn't easy for them to love me. We're all different, aren't we? We're all unique. But that's the richness. That's the richness of life, that difference. And it's hard to navigate sometimes, but it's worth it. It's worth it when lots of different views and opinions and ideas and characters come together. And when we work together, it's worth it. I want to be loved and I'm sure you want to be loved. So it's about loving our neighbours. And then finally, do I love God? Well, yeah, I do love God, but in a very human way. And I don't always get it right. But he still keeps on giving and giving and he really loves me. So next time I'm washing my hands before my face, or is it my face before my hands? Because there must be a good reason as to why you have to do that. Or perhaps bringing it up to date when I slap on some sanitizer. I'm going to remember that God's law is fundamentally about love. And as the famous songwriter wrote, all we need is love. And from it, good things will flow. Have a great day.